Hey guys, Pokecom14, and I am here with Shiny Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, part 57. In the last episodes, we took on Mars and Jupiter here with our rival, here at Spare Pillar with our rival, and Cyrus in the last episode. So, in this episode, we're going up against Palkia. And I should have probably healed off camera, but whatever. Okay, the first legendary of my entire channel. Exciting! Yeah, boy. Hopefully, I won't have to do multiple takes of this, but you never know. And wow, I never even had to use a hyper potion before this. I over-prepared. Like, completely. Um, who should I start out with? Uh... Hmm. Don't think I really have any status conditions, so... I'll start out with the Intimidate, and... Head on forward. Mythical Pokemon, Palkia. We walk forward. Oh my gosh, I love this music. Palkia, level 47. Water Dragon type with the moves Water Pulse, Ancient Power, Dragon Claw, and Spatial Lorend. Which is tough. Most of its moves are special, but I just get the Intimidate off of the Dragon Claw. And to do a little bit of damage with Giga Bolt. Oh, right. I may have the Paralysis. Okay, I just love this background music. I'm going to start out by saying that. Okay, Palkia is a beast if you are underleveled. Wow, that did a lot. It is a 150 base special attack, 120 base attack. So, and it's pretty fast too. This Palkia is scary. Okay, ancient power, and it's no, it probably won't knock me out. It, it'll come close. Okay, yeah, came close. Okay, so you do not want to use your Master Ball on Palkia. You just really don't. Not a good idea. Because it has a catch rate of 30, which is really high for a Legendary. It can go down to 3, which is... And basically, the higher the catch rate, the easier it is to catch. Whew! Okay, Ancient Power. Okay, this is bad if it gets to the stat boost, because it may raise all the user stats at once. Now, I, I, I really don't want to knock this thing out right now, so... Um, Crunch is gonna do less damage than Thunder Fang. Okay, Dragon Claw, I have the Intimidate, but it's still gonna do a lot. Okay. Pokeballs, they're not that good to use. A lot of, and all the random Pokeballs just don't do that much either. Whew. Okay, that is really low. I am keeping it at that. Let's throw the Pokeballs. Um, Premier Balls work just as well as Pokeball. If you wanna try a Quick Ball right off the bat, I mean, it may work. And. Yeah, just don't use your Master Ball. Let's start off with a regular Pokeball. I mean, I got these for a reason. Let's angle the camera better. Well, and apparently the reason is to have it break free. Okay, I want a challenge in this Pokemon. And it this is Palkia. It's a legendary. It's going to give it to me. So, this is what I wanted. Let's keep this up, Palkia. Good battle right here. Just took out my first Pokemon. Even, and I had to use a Hyper Potion, so, hmm, probably couldn't have, uh, who's next, um, what are my sacrifices? Um, if I wanted damage, I could have gone with my little pony, but, well, if I wanted damage, I could have gone with any of my Pokemon, but, still. Time to throw the Pokeballs. I'm not really gonna cut out any of this. Shaking. One. No. I mean, if I am able to get it down lower without destroying it, I could. I could try. Oh, wait. I know Ember, don't I? Yes, I know Ember. As long as I don't burn, then it should just go down lower. Don't burn. It's weird asking for it not to burn. Okay, so catching legendaries, or catching any Pokemon, it'll help if you have, if you can paralyze it, put it to sleep, but if, but do not burn or 
Uh, confusion isn't that good either. Don't burn or poison it, because it'll slowly drain its HP until it dies. Now, I'm going to see if I can t capture this Falky on one take, but it's apparently not working too well. If the battle goes on long enough, you might actually want to use a Timer Ball, because that'll eventually do pretty good. And Ultra Ball does nothing. Oh, yeah. And if I get anything saying about that, hey, just hold down B, or, you, or just scroll left and right with the Pokeball, it doesn't help anything. That's just some myth that people have, and they probably have good luck when using it, but I don't have good luck when using anything, so. Ooh. I think Luxray is going to be able to take the most, besides Volterra. And... Okay, maybe Aquazone. Yeah, okay. We haven't apparently seen it Spatial Wind yet. Nope. I had to say it. Okay, Spatial Wind. It says it moves special to Palkia. It's a 100 power Dragon type, and it is a high critical hit ratio. Dialga. Oh, right. I need to be saying Dialga's moves, too. Um, Dialga... Dialgia. Dialga is pretty similar to Palkia in the moveset. It knows Metal Claw, Ancient Power, Dragon Claw, and War, War of Time. Roar of Time. Roar of Time is... It's a Dragon-type Hyper Beam, a.k.a. Scary. 150 power, Dragon-type. And it must recharge. It's... And Dialga... It has the same stats as Palkia, except... Better defense and special. Whoa, I caught it! <laughs> I didn't even realize I caught it. I'm like reading off the Yoga stats and I suddenly catch Palkia. <laughs> okay, that's good. Well, one try. That only took almost seven minutes. Palkia, the spatial Pokemon. It's said to live in a gap in the spatial dimension in parallel to ours. It appears in mythology. Wow, that's great. It appears in mythology. Give a nickname to Palkia and. No, I don't actually think I will. Transferred to box one. We did it. We captured Palkia. And a Pokeball. Huh. Yeah, let's go home. Wait, 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 wait. That's true. But, uh, yeah, you can explore Spare Pillar after you've uh, beaten or captured Palkia or whatever. So what you want to do is come back here and you get a Lustrous Orb, and if you're playing Diamond, you get a Adamant Orb. The Lustrous Orb, what it does, it raises the Water and Dragon type attacks power, and Adamant Orb, it raises the... Wow, Repels Effect Aura. It raises the power of um, Steel and... Yeah, because... Dialga Steel type. It ranges Steel and Dragon type. Moves power. So we really took on the Creative Center region? Hmm. It's a master of space and dimensions. Now back to this calming music, which isn't as cool as the other theme, but... Super Pelt. No, Escape Rope. And this would really stink of a teleport to me to Spare Pillar, but it doesn't. Alright, back at Route 207. Now let's check out our new Palkia. Well, I didn't actually have time to say everything that I needed to about that, maybe, but still. Okay, Orberg City. Hmm. So, into the PC. Only three Pokemon fainted. And, Palkia. Shiny Palkia. So, there are stats. It's intimidating. Puts pressure on you to capture it quickly. Uh, get it? Pressure? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Palkia is tough. We can see that there. Okay. Well, this is only 10 minutes and we already caught Palkia. Okay. So, I guess what I can do now, because if you recall, all the light Pokemon were freed and. After that, I think they went back to their respective... Well, I don't really think, because I kind of know that they went back to their respective lakes, but... Well, I didn't really have everything I wanted to say about Dialga and Palkia, but... I mean, it's cool. Dialga's Johnny Sprite looks cooler, but yeah. 
Um, well, anything else I can put in post commentary, but I think this has a pretty enjoyable episode. I mean, I captured it in seven minutes, and the video only took ten minutes after going to look at it. I think I've done well. You have done well, Master Connor. Oh yeah, and if you're playing Platinum, this is not the thing that you're encountering. <laughs> Well, you get something different if you're playing Platinum, another surprise. But you probably know what that is by now. Hopefully. Well, I guess in the next episode, we're gonna be doing something different. Ish. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys then. Blacks oh that's white screen creepiness. Later! Same stats as Talkia, except better defense and special Whoa, I caught it! <laughs> I didn't even realize I caught it. I'm like reading off the Elga stats and I suddenly catch Palkia. Haha. <laughs> okay, that's good.